Okay, this is an update video because, as all we all know, Icarus is subject to change. So this is an update on the Explosive Arrow and Taser Arrow. Now, for those not familiar with these, they are a workshop item that you can purchase to be dropped with. Now, you get a little bundle like this. And as you can see, it's now a 25 set instead of the original, like, 5. Now, to use them, you just simply right-click it and you consume it. If you open it... It won't go back with you even if you have spares. So if you bring down more than one pack, open them as you're planning on using them. Now the taser arrows, of course, basically slows the target for four seconds. It, it basically almost locks it up. I've shot a polar bear with these. They they just they they're completely helpless once you've hit them with this. Now it is a hundred percent chance of electroshock which gives them minus 90% movement speed for 4 seconds. You can do a lot of damage in 4 seconds, especially if you've got one bow with the taser arrow and a second bow with standard arrows. It can really you know, do a lot of damage over time. Now, the ballistic arrow, or explosive arrow, has been completely rebuilt. It also has a pack of 25 now. Now, originally... It used to take two to three shots of the explosives to kill a wolf. Now, uh, even an accidental shot will kill something like a player or a wolf. Um, so, if you have friendlies on the ground, don't shoot near them. So, going over the shock arrows, I've got my little target here, which you get for one of the early missions. And as you can see, I am using the 125% bow. The effect is actually quite large as you can see if it hits different things but only the base projectile damage is actually affected by the actual bow itself the electricity still continues onwards now as for the explosives as you can see has two sets of damage the 300 from the actual explosive itself plus the projectile damage now, neither one leaves behind arrows, so these are one shot. Now, can you damage structures? Yes, you can damage structures. No, it will not start fire, so firing these in the forest, not a big issue. Now, if you come over to a lake like this, yes, you can fish with these. I don't know why you would want to waste that amount of money. But, you know, if you wanted to, you could fish with explosives. I would, you know, pick up a hand grenade or explosive ammo if you're going to do that, though. Now, I've got my fearsome group of bramble bears here. And just to show you a little bit of the way it works, see, if I shoot this one in the chest, you can see all the way over to that structure has been damaged. And depending on the way that the blast radius is, you can see the certain ones are getting blocked. But if I go like this, they're not taking direct damage, but they are taking the area of effect still. That makes these far more useful against clusters of enemies than they used to be. As well as the fact that the explosives now do bonus damage against hardened armor. Now, if I go over to this, if I shoot the bear, you can see that's standard damage. That is basically the headshot. But if I shoot down here, it's got the hard end of 41. Now, if I switch over to this, all right, I do 135, 300. But it sits there and boosts it up. But this is not actually, this is just standard armor. Now, this is not like a hardened enemy like a like scorpion or one of the larger bosses. So if you use these on these, they're supposed to be more effective against them. And they have a much bigger range, much better. It's definitely more worth your money if you're a player that has the excess money and you want to drop down and take out one of the bosses quickly. So it's definitely something to give another look. Depending on your play style and stuff like that, these can become super effective. Now, as you can see... I don't have any combat talents on this character, so all of the damages you're seeing are the base. Now, however, it will still only affect the projectile damage, which is 
that original damage right here where it says 28 to 30 projectile or 57 to 60. So that's what's going to be boosted. The electricity and the explosive are not. Now, I hope this gives you an idea to relook at these because they can actually be really handy in combat missions. If you're not a big combat person and you want to just knock these out quickly, you know, bringing a pack or two of these can easily sit there and make it go from difficult to relatively minor. Also, once again, once you've unlocked everything, you're going to have a lot of free money just to spend on things to be just stupid with. There are 150 units each, and you get 25 of them. I mean, it's a pretty good deal if you're a more experienced person, but if you also just want to get rid of the combat missions or something like that, easily works out. I hope this helps. And I hope this maybe makes you look into these another time. And with that, I hope you all have a great week.